Okay, and we're back. So, we have got the books we need for the librarian, and we now have to get back to the College of Winterhold. So, let's figure out the easiest way of getting there. Now, probably the safest way of doing this is to go back to the Whiterun stables. But I was... To get the white run stables and then take a carriage is probably the safest. But I was also wondering if there was a way to get to Windhelm. There probably is, but I think I have to go all the way down here anyway. One of the things is I found with companions, with uh, followers, is they don't want to drop off ledges and they don't like swimming. Which is very unfortunate. So... Because otherwise I would probably have gone down here and joined this road here. But um, I have a horrible feeling my followers won't follow me across here for some reason. I'll get lost for two or three hours. And then I could run here. That's probably quite a dangerous little run, isn't it? Probably get myself killed. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It's going to be cheaper. And I might discover some places on the way. And I might get horribly killed. So, I want to go directly east and then down to the water and cut across. I think. Sounds reasonable. Oh, the other option is... Can I get through these mountains here? Uh, no, let's not try that. I'm going to get completely lost. Go in here. That's what I'm going. So, yeah. We lost Gisago last episode. Which was very unfortunate. Uh, he seems to be quite popular, though. A lot of people have said bring him back, resurrect him, etc. So I'm, I'm going to think about that. But it has brought up an interesting uh, little thought process for how to handle this many followers. Having an, an army... Am I being shot at? It does seem so, doesn't it? Well, whatever it is, my followers seem to have dispatched it. I say for... Ah, oh, there she is. I was going to say, where's, where's Tank Girl? So, yeah. Ah, uh, what was I saying? They're attacking again. Come on, guys. I'm in the middle of a monologue here, and you're... Whoa! Okay, fine. Feel free to help me out. Um, yes. Okay, I will not question your judgment ever again, minions. Well, that's a lie. I gotta be honest. I gotta tell you. That's a lie. However, this time, I'm sort of glad you were paying attention. It was another one of those Durzogs. Okay, so yes, you're all forgiven. Thank you very much for saving my life. You probably don't need healing. Very good, just in case you feel left out, Bill. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've got this large armor, and it's brilliant when wandering around the wilderness. But inside dungeons, it seems to be extremely... Uh, well, difficult to keep them managed, to get in the way, etc. So I'm going to do the sort of mass effect thing. And I'm going to take my followers around with me in the wilderness. And when I find a dungeon or a castle or something like that, I'm going to tell them all to relax. And then I'm going to pick one or two of them to follow me in. Whoever I think is best suitable for that particular area. So very similar to Mass Effect, where you pick two crew members to accompany you on every mission, but you take the entire ship wherever you go. So hopefully that will make the dungeons a little easier to manage, and I might not lose people quite as often. Plus it's, it should make it a little bit tougher, because I have to be honest, it was a tiny bit too easy. As you can see. Not not that a wolf cub should give us any problems. 
So now I have to figure out how on earth to get down here and keep followers following me. Because they don't like to do that. Okay, and... Oh, we're attacking someone. Who are we attacking? Okay. Well, whoever it is is not very happy now. Oh, right, a bridge going across. Is that how we get across? And, of course, lots of bad guys. There would be, wouldn't there? <laughs> oh, that didn't quite go well. I was hoping to summon him on top of the building but I've summoned him inside the building so he's in there right now causing lots of chaos which is kind of interesting hmm oh right you know what let's just check my spells fury let's see what he does go off and kill your own people is there anyone else I can ask Fury on? Go on. Oh, you don't have any other people. That's unfortunate. Oh, they're shooting someone else. Who are they shooting? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the... Oh, there he is. Iron Mace of Chills. Nice. You are carrying too much. Oh, dear. Mm, gold I want. I'll keep them else. To a minimal. I think I need to drop some items. Okay, I can move again. What was I doing? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to summon Bill. I, you won't get away. Hmm. Gotta go save whichever minion that is. Oh, she doesn't need to save him. Look at that. She's awesome. My better. Okay, so while we're here, let's loot everything. Where's my torch? Oh, I ran out of torches. That's really unfortunate. Anything to loot. No idea if any of these are uh, interesting. Dresser, anything in there? Ah, uh, stuff to enchant. I can't see where I'm going. Bandit, you're dead. You know what? I'm thinking of sleeping in this uh, this bed. Yes, I am. Ooh. Dwarven war axe. Is that going to be too heavy to carry? Probably. Shame. Oh, I can sleep. Let's have a night, good night's sleep. It's dark. Do I get well rested for this bed? I don't know. Does it have to be an indoors bed? Questions. I've never slept outside, actually. Oh, there you go. I feel well rested. Archery. Oh, yes, I leveled. Let's um, let's deal with that. Where are the rest of my companions, followers? <sighs> Got to stick to health again. I'm still feeling a bit wussy-ish. Now, you know what? I'm getting a teeny bit worried that conjuration is flying up now. I know I pretty much use conjuration more than anything else. And I was originally not getting any increases with Bill. Now I seem to be getting them every fight. Every single time I have a fight, I get a conjuration increase. So, it's not the end of the world, really. I mean, at maximum, it'll get me 10 levels, which is not too much. But still, it's uh, a little faster than I was thinking. Mystic binding. Bound weapons do more damage. So, see, I'm giving some serious thought to actually using weapons, but bound ones, uh, rather than fist. Purely because I've never used summoned weapons, and 
It's it's I don't know whether it's interesting or not, not sure. That requires illusion twenty. I need to raise my illusion skill. Okay, let's go. Off to college, well back to college. The long way. Yeah, I'm gonna try and buy the bound pickup pickup? Pickaxe. Um so that I don't have to carry this one. Anything else here? It's a pretty nice view as well. There's another one of those dinosaur things. And one thing, I'm going to check my... I changed some settings because I was worried I had some lag. I don't think I need to. Sometimes looking away resets it, but not that much in this case. Let's check the second tower. D did I hear? Aha! There we go, guys. Go kill whatever it was making noises. Tank girl. Nice. Okay, okay. What did you get us kill? Apparently, an axe all by itself. And I still need a, a more powerful open spell, so I don't have to do the. Oh, that was lucky. See, I don't want to increase lock picking. That's quite. Interesting. So, now we're downstairs. <sighs> now where am I going? Okay, right. So, follow the road across the bridge. And then take the left-hand turn. Okay, off we go. You know, not using the fast travel and not quite having enough money to use carriages all the time really does add something to the, the, the feeling of actually... Well, the, the world is large. And... Whoa! Oh, dangerous! Where are my followers? I've done it again. I've lost my followers. Oh, who are they attacking now? That's probably why they were... Uh... Oh, something hit me. Oh, was that me falling off? Okay, something's hitting me. How dare it! Okay, that was fun. Oh, good grief. Okay, we'll do all the looting later. Let's go keep this one safe. Are you alive? Where are you? Don't do that again. She's a bit psycho, really, isn't she? She just goes running off. Willy-nilly. Mind you, you know what? They just got me a lot of loot. I'm going to have to get some of the, someone to carry some stuff for me, I think. Where's... Come on, tank girl. You look... Oh, my God. Look at this. Look how slow I'm moving. Let's get going. I need to trade some what things do you need with you. To take? Oh, I don't. I need you to carry some heavy crap for me. 
So let's have a look. Although, you know what? I'm going to give you this. I don't know if it's useful to you. Big magic axe. What else have we got here? I'm not going to give you this. I want you to keep using two-handed weapons because you look awesome doing it. And I'm not going to give you any... You know what, though? I think I'm going to give you a resist magic necklace. Seeing as I'm using that, I think I want you more protected. See, I've, I've never had to think about this before. But giving my followers decent equipment. And let's have a look. What's the heaviest I've got? Well, that makes a big difference. And let's what just. What do you need to take? I want to make sure you're wearing that necklace. Yeah, nice. Nicely done. And the last. Uh, train some? You are weak, because I'm level 12 now, and I don't think I've done this for a while, so I'm going to do this on all my followers. I've got your back. It's Onland. You know what? Uh, these two just aren't as interesting as uh, Jazago, are they? Does anyone remember where that corpse was? There, was? there was a couple of corpses over here. Hey, there we go. Okay, so, um, yeah, what were we chatting about? Oh, yes! How not using fast travel makes the world feel larger and a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> and as if on cue, I get horribly attacked. Are my followers following this time? Yes. I need rear view mirrors so I can sort of see my followers. I wonder if I do this. Can I? Well, I can hear them now at least. The um, lush trees and lush grass mod definitely make the trees look a little bit more. Oh! Wow, massive frame rate drop there. I'm at 20 frames a second now, which is not good. I wonder why that is, looking in this direction. Now, it is because I'm recording, but it's not because the recording program is limiting. Because in actual fact, my frames per second went down to 20 as well, and that never happens. Let's just tweak some of these. Now, because I'm recording at half my frame rate, but still. No, that didn't change anything either. Hmm. Nope. It is not wanting to change. So, something here. Let's try active fade down. Nope, that didn't change it either. So, for some reason, something here is really not liking my system. Either that or I've just had one of those glitches where you've been running the game for a while and everything slows down. See, now I'm running in this direction. 30, 35 frames a second, which is still not brilliant for me. Oh, look at that. She's got a great big magic sword now. And she's going to go hit something with it. What's she going to hit? I mean, right, so every time I summon Bill now, I get a, I get a conjuration increase. It would seem... She's a little, um, I don't know, I would say cheating, but sort of... Ah, uh, uh, this is why I'm getting massive drop in frame rate. There's a war zones going on over there. Okay, let's not go that way. Any oh, okay. This is bad. <laughs> Run away. 
Right, I need flee. Because you guys are going to get nuked. Yes, come on. Run, 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 run. Just run. There's an entire war zone of mages going on. Ooh, that looks interesting. Am I getting everyone? Right. Now. Anything else? Right, yeah, my skeleton's still engaging, but my followers are... That's good. Right, we're going to have to rethink this, because frankly... That entire war zone seemed to be hostile to us. Which was bad. And with 20 frames a second. With 20 frames a second, I don't want to be fighting that many creatures. So, how to get there? We might be able to sneak across here. There's something there, isn't there? And there was a little path going somewhere up here. I wonder what's up there. Let's just go and have a look at it first. Yeah, if I had 15 followers, I might actually have engaged them. But there's something like about 40 or 50 creatures. Yeah. Hilgrim's Tomb. Oh. Come on. Right, so, I don't know. Tombs. I like tombs. What do you guys think? Shall we go in there on the way to uh, Windholm? Build Helm. Windhelm. Yes, sorry. I always get these names confused. Tell you what, though, I'm still worried about the uh, frame rate. 28 frames a second, even here. That is terrible. There's probably people watching this video now hating me for saying 28 frames a second whilst recording video is terrible, but it just is for me. So, do I want to take all of these followers or leave one of them outside? Well, I'll tell you, the first thing I'm going to do is tell them to unflee. I've learned that these are toggled. So now they're not in flea mode. And then I'm going to say... Leave one of them behind. Who should I leave behind? I'm going to leave Almond. We shouldn't have been disturbing Sarthal, no matter what. I'll stay here. Good. You try not to get into too much trouble. We won't. So, I've now got two minions plus Bill. And I think we are. We're in fact going to go in here. Okay. Ah! Oh, my kind, you startled me. There's a necromancer around here, so watch yourself. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. Val's very that sounded really my rude. My family has never really seen eye to eye with him, and he has finally gone off the deep end. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestors for his filthy dark elf necromancy. My aunt went in after him, <laughs> but she hasn't come out yet. Yeah. And I don't think I can take him by myself. Let me get this right. You sent Auntie in, but you're too cowardly to go in. <sighs> I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of that place, and Aunt Agna knows it. <laughs> you sent in Aunt Agna. In a drunken rage when he left us. Three days in there eating the offerings left for our dead. Before Aunt Agna found me. Can you help me? Oh, God. He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relative. Now, see that image again. Fine. Wait. I'll unlock the door and meet you inside. Then you can lead the way. <laughs> yeah, that sounds nice, doesn't it? So, anything out here? Bone meal, potion of healing. 
So I'm going to take you two in. Mind you, you see, this guy here is probably going to get in the way. Yeah, I'm going to take two of you in. All right, let's go. Okay. Actually, you know, I think, I think it's better off if I leave her outside. I think there's a, one follower plus him. That's going to be enough. And she's a summoner, so she's going to end up summoning tons of things. I've so, got your back. Wait as here. As you wish. Just don't forget about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to try using some uh, soul traps. I want to get my souls trapped so I can do some enchanting. Okay, let's set my spells up. Okay, we've got turn, undead, ray zombie. Let's have a bill. And... Ooh. You guys don't kill him. Nice, get conjuration for that. Whoa! Accidentally did not steal the gold. Still got the uh, music for. Okay, that looks suspicious. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's just. Now don't all go in there, it... It's a big pool of burning fire and they all run in there. Ooh. Kill him. And him. I think I'm actually going to put healing on... Nah, that. Yes! Souls! <laughs> we'll pick that up on the way back, I think. Oh, Aunt Agne. No, Aunt Agne. Tell us, why didn't I go in with her? Because you're a coward? He's barred the door. Gods only know how he's defiling the bodies of my ancestors. Okay, that image again. There's a secret room. He's just raising them as an army, that's all, mate. Nothing, nothing nefarious. I do it all the time. That one. Haha. <laughs> they do look a little different, the ones that can be killed. Whoa! Uh, the Skyrim monster mod definitely adds some nice, cool touches to these. These guys. Red glowing eyes. Pretty awesome. And they look like different textures, slightly different colours. Did I get him? It sort of it breaks it up a little bit, makes it look a little Oh. going on there. Oh no. Good 
god. Oh, my uh, soul trap has run out. The pressure plate. I triggered it before and got pelted with darts. Pressure plate. That thing. Ta da! That is freaky. Who buries their ancestors like that, like sort of in a tube, with their heads sticking out? It just looks like a punch bag. One of those, sorry, punch balls. Speed balls. That was probably extremely disrespectful, wasn't it? Oh, look at that. No? How about that one? Yes! Kill him. Why do I get this horrible feeling of spideriness? Big hole and webs, that's why. Oh, did you move down? Well, this is not really going to be very fair, is it? Okay, probably a little bit more fair now. Yeah, feel free to come in here, guys. Almost went bad, didn't it? Spiders, who cares? No, it's kind of odd that you can actually cast this uh, the the soul trap spell on things that are not alive. Uh, it's that one's alive, isn't it? There we go. How about that one? Yep, yeah, that one. And apparently a few more to... Ooh, the grief. Oh, gotta keep him alive. Keep him alive. Probably should save magic for the healing rather than the uh, soul trap. I just want soul traps. Oh, they're doing fine. A lot of arrows, actually. Shame I don't have Feindal anymore. <laughs> said that the bear would show the way. The bear. Sort of bear. Ah, oh, we go. Um, passage goes through the sarcophagus. That sound always makes me nervous. But we'd better keep going. Bill gone? Where's Bill? Come on, Bill. I'm a little bit worried about that conjuration spell skill going up so fast. Oh, I'm healing the Get out there. So, I think 
this door should lead to the main burial chamber where yeah. the house is holding. It looks like that, doesn't it? Okay, I just had a complete crash, a total lockup. So I've restored to a quick save point. It wasn't much beyond this point, but uh, I forgot what I was talking about. So, yeah, carrying on. Where am I? Oh, yes. Yeah, I got into a fight in here and it crashed. Actually, my frame rate's improved as well. I'm wondering if I was, I'd had my computer on too long or something. But yes, I got into a fight in here and was pretty much winning. Uh, well, actually, completely just destroying him. This guy, is, I came in very, very carefully. A bit ninja. He then initiated a combat and it was uh, pretty quickly over, actually. Let's see, what was I running? Right, yes. Okay, so, uh, and I, I remember I was saying during this fight that it seemed to be a lot easier to um, oh, to manage one follower. I'm busy using um, the turn undeads. Oh no, don't turn undead on your own minion, you idiot. <laughs> what am I doing? So it makes them run away. Turn undead makes them run away. So it's like fear only restoration school. And it might have been a bad idea. <laughs> there they go. But it means I uh, don't really need to do an awful lot. Apart from chase my followers. Someone hit him. Come on. Go on, Bill, shoot him. Nicely done. Uh, that's good. You pushed me into a... Thank you. Right, I might not use uh, Turn Undead anymore. <laughs> it's a little... It's going to make the combat last a little long, isn't it? There we go. The only thing is, guys, mind you, he'll run out of zombies eventually, I guess. What we really need to do is kill the Puppet Master. Oh, don't behind me. I can keep these guys alive forever. How about that famous last words? The overlord behind you, you might want to focus on though. For it, Bill. Oh, I didn't get my souls. No soul gem large enough. That's a shame. Yes! He's dead. Okay. Let's loot him. Um, necromancer robes. Yeah, why not? He won't speak to me yet. Okay, well, they've obviously got some unfinished business somewhere. Anything else for me to loot? Guys? Kill it. For some reason, it's terrified. Can't think why. I'm nice and friendly. 
Right. Whatever your name is, Gold Deer. Very unfortunate name. Watch over your battles, friend. Oh, I can have him as a follower. <laughs> I didn't notice. All this time I didn't notice. It was me thinking, let him die. And it turns out he's a follower. Let's not waste any time. Absolutely. What are you good at? We've stopped. I can't what believe is it. it. I didn't notice that. Let's have a look. Um, you could dress better. Where is he gone? I'm still here. So what will you do now? Whatever I can to put my family here back to rest. After that, probably just stick around here. Saw some good game on my way here, and I'd like to stay close for a while. The only thing is, is he seems to be a bit of a you know wuss when it comes to tombs. So let's have a look what, what he's got though. Nice oh, iron armor. And tons of potions. And a torch! I'll take that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I need a torch. And let's have a look at... What are you good at? Level 14. Yeah, it's not bad. And one-handed. He seems to be a one-handed guy. Heavy? What about block? Shield 39. I guess that's block. Mm, so we got a one-handed guy here. So... Let's get you a shield and a decent one-handed weapon. What do you need to take? And some decent armor, actually. Let's have a look. Do I have anything? Not at the moment, but I'm going to get you some decent stuff. And you have got fine Norse axe and a woodman's axe. Let's see what I can give you in exchange. See, actually, your fine Norse, Norse axe is actually pretty good. Probably better than a lot of stuff. Oh, Iron Mace of Chills, look at that. No, it seems like you're actually uh, better set up than I thought. Let's go. I'm going to leave you with that. New minion! Iron Helmet. I'm going to take that for my new minion. Where have you gone? Come here, minion. Let's get going. What do you need? To I do? haven't given uh, Uthgert a helmet, I guess, which is probably unfortunate. But um, I kind of like the look she's got, you see. So I didn't want to ruin it with a helmet, but I might give her one. So she's okay. That came out wrong. Wrong. I might pass her a helmet so it uh, makes her survive longer. Here. God, you Let's look, go. You look even goofier, mate. But. Yay, followers. Wait, am I going the right way? Open novice. Do I still have that? Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay, not completely unsuccessful. Gained a follower. Was there anything else in there, though? It's sort of... It's a tomb. I sort of feel like there should be a... I don't know. Word of power or something? Ah, oh, well. Now we have to get past the war zone. I was on my way to college. On my way to oh, he, Wind, Windhelm. At least something. Of course. Let's go. We shouldn't have. I'm right with you. Okay, got a safe here in case I get another crash. So yeah, we have to find a way past. Uh, this battle. And I'm still getting lousy frames per second. 19 frames a second now. 17. Good grief. That's got to be the War Zones mod. I'm just going to test that theory out. 
excuse me, I'm going to uninstall War Zones and figure out if that's what's causing the delay. Okay, I'm back, and I found out it was not a mod that was causing the problems. It was shadows. Changing shadows from ultra detail to high detail, just shadows, has doubled the frame rate there. So for some reason, in certain spots, there are just too many shadows. Which is unfortunate. Anyway, uh, we need to avoid this, and honestly, I'm, I don't see any way past this war zone. This war zone's really unfortunate. It's caused a massive blockage here. And I can tell you now I'm not going to make it past with war zones and um, the Skyrim uh, mod. The Skyrim monster mod. Because there just there seems to be way too many things out there. And uh, my army not as strong as that yet. So we need to go round and oh, I might be able to make it up here. Problem is, is I have a feeling my followers are just not going to make this at all. So honestly, I think I'm going to run all the way back to White Run and take a carriage. I really do. I know, cowardly, but honestly, I'm not going to make it there with all my followers. If I doubt, I'm going to make it there myself, even if I did flee. And try to make it here. Oh, I don't know. It's tempting, isn't it? I'll tell you what, let's check it out. Let's check it out, see if we can get past. Well, the other thing is, is it's also getting dark. And one of the things I don't like doing when it's dark is getting off the road. Okay, that seems to be the way. Let's hopefully my followers will follow me. Yay. Nice one. Okay, piles of rocks. This looks like Oh dear. Um he doesn't look aggressive though, does he? A little bit now. Come on, guys. Right, so, if we stick to the high ground here, can we avoid trouble? Spider. Spider we can handle. Oh, I need to change my spells back. I want fear and fury on my list again. Fear is just such a useful spell. Oh, they're following me. This is nice. Let's have a look where I am, though. Right, if we get to this path here, we can sneak down here. Or if this is blocked off, we can drop down here. Just I want to avoid this entire area here. War zones tend to be uh, a little bit widespread. Castle. Not totally sure where that is or if I should care. Is he coming to find us? I don't know whether I want to do that. I really would. Oh god. My guy's gonna f go for him. No, they're definitely gonna keep fighting, aren't they? Back over it. All oh, right, man. I suppose. Seeing as we've suddenly, I feel much better. Gallows Rock. 
So where's the guy you killed? There he is. Silver hand. Hmm. Silver great sword. I'm gonna give that to you. You can have that. We going? No, oh, you have a. What do you need to take? I'm just gonna give you a silver great sword. Cause I'm nice. Oh no. No, wrong way around. Wrong way around. What, what was that? That was silly. Steel great sword. Fine. You can have that. Silver great sword. And. Where is the other one? Wait, come on. Right, damage. I'll be so right which, here. Which weapon are you using? That looks like the magical one. Oh, we can sleep here if it gets dark. Okay, werewolf heads on spikes. I don't know about you. I think we just leave these people alone. They seem a bit nuts. Ah, but we should be able to find... Um, to the north of here, we should be able to find a path. I like paths. Make sure I'm going north. Is that another war zone? Gee. I wasn't kidding when he said he was going to turn the place into a war zone, was he? And unfortunately, that's the way we want to go. Up there. Looks like a bunch of mages again. There are way too many groups of mages just wandering around. avoid that. Now unfortunately due to some of the crashes I've been having I lost a, about five minutes of video here um, which is unfortunate because I decided to change direction head downhill. I met my first minotaur or minotaur I think is how you're supposed to say it uh, which I killed successfully and finally made it down to the road and was heading up the road as it began to get dark. That's all you've really missed. Um, but from now on, I'm going to be saving more often and taking the video chunks in smaller chunks so if I do have crashes, I can quickly go back. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's get to Windhelm. Bit of destruction every now and again, you know. What harm? <laughs> God, I feel like this journey's taken forever. It's been a long day. Oh, I see the city. I see the city. And someone I don't like. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right... Stormcloaks. Oh, look, lanterns. Lanterns. I do like that mod, actually. You just... You... Bear coward. Okay. You get the feeling that you've uh, come back to civilization when you find the lanterns. Although, busy being viciously attacked by... Apparently a bear coward and a wolf. Still, when these guys have finished... You think whatever it is. You into oh, guys, seriously? Just wildlife, leave it alone. <laughs> Come with me. I, I do like the, um, the commands for UFO. I mean, look at this. Lanterns. It really, really helps. So now we've got past those guys. Come on. Civilization, boys. Civilization. And girls. 
All right. I thought I could. Uh, I was out of range so that I could tell him to stop engaging. Oh, it's it. Tell you what, we do need. We need a couple of lanterns here. Gonna end near a lantern. Definitely. Well that's it then. We made it. We made it all the way to Windhelm. Ladies and gents, we made it to Windhelm. Civilization, we can from here get a carriage back to college. Excellent. 